Hi, good day everyone. I will discuss to you on how to factor polynomial that is a difference of two squares. I have here numbers 1 to 10. Let's take the squares of each number by multiplying the number by itself. 1 squared is actually 1 times 1 which is equal to 1. 2 squared is 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. 3 squared is 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. 4 squared is 4, four times 4 which is equal to 16. 5 squared is 5 times 5 which is equal to 25. 6 squared is 6 times 6 which is equal to 36. 7 squared is 7 times 7 which is equal to 49. 8 squared is 8 times 8 which is equal to 64. 9 squared is 9 times 9 which is equal to 81. 10 squared is 10 times 10 which is equal to 100. These numbers are the squares of the given numbers. And these numbers have perfect square roots. Let's say square root of 1 is equal to 1. S square root of 4 is equal to 2. Square root of 9 is equal to 3. Square root of 16 is equal to 4. Square root of 25 is equal to 5, and so on. The factored form of a polynomial that is a difference of two squares is the sum and difference of the square roots of the first and last term. Let's have a polynomial that is a difference of two squares. x squared minus y squared. x squared is the first term of the given polynomial, and y squared is the last term of the given polynomial, and they are connected with a subtraction symbol. The factors of the difference of two squares are actually two binomials. One is under addition and the other one is under subtraction. To find its factors, we have to take the square root of the first term, x squared, and that is x. Next, take the square root of the last term, y squared, and that is y. Therefore, the factored form of x squared minus y squared is the quantity x plus y times the quantity x minus y. Let's have an example. Factor 4x squared minus 9. 4x squared is the first term and 9 is the last term. Take the square root of each term. The square root of 4x squared is equal to 2x. Remember, to take the square root of a variable, just copy the variable and divide its exponent by 2. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. Again, we have two binomial factors for the difference of two squares. One is under addition, the other one is under subtraction. 2x will be the first term of the two binomials. And 3 
will be the last term of the two binomials. Therefore, the factored form of 4x squared minus 9 is the quantity of 2x plus 3 times the quantity of 2x minus 3. Another example, factor a squared b to the 6th power minus 25. a squared b to the 6th power is the first term and 25 is the last term. Take the square root of each term. The square root of a squared b to the 6th power is equal to a b cubed. The square root of 25 is equal to 5. And we have two binomial factors. Again, one is under addition, the other one is under subtraction. The square root of the first term, a b cube, will be the first term of the two binomial factors. And the square root of the second term, 5, will be the last term of the two binomial factors. So, the factored form of a squared b to the 6 minus 25 is the quantity of a b cubed plus 5 times the quantity a b cubed minus 5. How about this? Factor 16a squared minus 25b squared. 16a squared is the first term and 25b squared is the last term. Take the square root of each term. The square root of 16a squared is equal to 4a. The square root of 25b squared is equal to 5b. Express the factors as two binomials. The first binomial is under addition. The second one is under subtraction. 4a will be the first term of the two binomial factors and 5b will be the last term of the two binomial factors. Therefore, the factored form of 16a squared minus 25b squared is the quantity 4a plus 5b times the quantity 4a minus 5b. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!